nice deep state is coming back with a, with a different uh, cast you're the new members of it mm -hmm. and uh, tell me what was your approach when you saw the first season what was so appealing that you said i want to take part in the second one if they will make one well uh you know f for me i think my first thought was wow uh i gotta go to work these guys <laughs> have really kind of done something here you know with with season one um and and i was just uh i thought the the story was so topical and so compelling and um and it was uh, you know different f for me you know to kind of to be in this way i mean i haven't had the opportunity to play jason Bourne, you know <laughs> so uh but but I, i did have the opportunity to play nathan miller and 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 it was um You know, he's a very, very, very complicated man, you know, and, and in some ways he is the face of the deep state. And uh, certainly kind of in, in this world. And um, and I just kind of jumped at the chance to get in there and, and play with, with this cast and with, with uh, Matthew Parkhill, the, the creator. And, um, and and it was, I'm a better man for it. You know, it was an extraordinary experience, really. Yeah, it was a great experience. I heard about the show after auditioning the show and then I got to watch it and I really really enjoyed season one loved it so much I thought that the characters were so alive and I'd never seen that in a sort of espionage thriller series I'd never seen characters that I could sort of go oh yeah yeah that's yeah 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 I understand this world I understand what you're going through I understand your motivations and uh, the fact that then it became less abstract and more more human yeah. I was just amazed by it by his ability to do that in this genre, to make the characters human. And when I got a chance to play Aisha, and then Aisha is from Mali, and then I had to sort of find out another part of Africa that I didn't know about. I, I, I understand that we're all Africans, but I don't really understand what the experience of a Malian girl is, what does she go through every single day. And to be given an opportunity to sort of understand that country, understand its unique challenges, and then to see how the domino effect of why they're where they are, and it's because of another country's interference in, in that region. It was amazing, and to be part of the crew that sort of opens up Africa a little bit more to the rest of the world so that they can see what it's like, they can sort of understand the people and understand the culture, that was amazing. So I'm very happy to be part of Deep State. And you're playing, and it's not a spoiler because we could see it in the trailers. You're a, a dark character in the in this one again. And well, yeah, go ahead, please, please. Uh, and I'm curious, weren't you a little bit tired? Like, come on, again. <laughs> well, you know, I, I don't I don't look at my career that way. I, I don't I don't really see it um, uh, the way that people see it. I mean, you you had mentioned the Shield, and I, I think that one of the best know, series, cop series ever. Thank you very much for saying that. Yeah, I, let's I make it official on the camera. <laughs> I, I think I think that the character in that story uh, paid the ultimate price, and uh, you know I, I have been blessed with the opportunity to play um, more often than not uh, a nefarious character, and through sheer will and persistence, um, have tried to make them as human as possible, and have, if not if it wasn't on paper, I've been able to bend the story to uh, to celebrate or to at least for a moment, see the world from their point of view and to, to generate empathy, not from uh, an actor's ego point of view, but because these people really exist in the world. And uh, I feel that way about, you know, about The Hateful Eight. I feel that way about Boyd Crowder on Justified. I feel that way about Lee Russell on Vice Principals. I feel that way about any number of, of movies that I've been a part of. And, um, and I think that at, at the end of this story, um, when, you, uh, when you see where all the chips lay, Or where the chess pieces are on the board, um, I, I think that you will feel very differently about Nathan Miller than you feel about him uh, the first time that you meet him. Um, Because it's real life, right? Yeah. It's real life. I mean, no human being, another human being looks at that human being and goes, that's just an evil person. Yeah, but we have a person yeah. who's, uh, who has uh, some agenda that mm. we don't know about, and I don't want to spoil it right here. What's your agenda? Yeah. But to yeah. interfering in uh, some other government's uh, works. Yeah changing a country by any means necessary, not necessary, open for the people that are living there. Yeah. Do you guys yeah. believe that the deep state is something real, something that is happening all over the world, but we as a citizens don't see that because it's on the other side of the curtain? That's a, that's a great question, you know, and, and, and I mean, uh, you know, I think regardless of what we think, I 
I think that it's happened and has been happening for thousands of years. You, you know, um, I, there's a there's a great book that uh, uh, called Overthrow that I read a, a number of years ago um, about a hundred years of American hegemony, and you know, it starts with the banana plantations in Hawaii, and and works its way it works its way all the way through Iran and into Iraq, and when uh, the U.S. government for the first time in its history, went to war on behalf of a corporation in British Petroleum. Um, so not only does this happen, or, or has happened, it continues to happen. We're looking at the same thing in Venezuela right now. Um, yeah, but in, in this series, we see that the government tries to um, kill one of the characters that's <laughs> right next to you, yeah. apparently, in, the, yeah. in, in, the, in this storyline. Mm. And it's not because... Uh, they want to overthrow the uh, government. Yeah. There was some screw up. And I'm thinking about such a thing that the, the normal citizen has to be annihilated because we have to cover up something. I mean, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. You know, I'm, I'm not, I won't kind of get into my, in my politics in, in, uh, specifically. But, um, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think it's a leap to say that that has happened uh, by any stretch of the um, uh, imagination. Um, but are, are the citizens fully aware of what's going on in their country? I, I, you know, I, you would like to think so, um, but I, I, you know, I think that there is a, you know, a difference um, at times between the information that we are given and, and what's really kind of going on. Um, uh, I, you know, I believe that, that you know, the deep state is about a number of things, but it's really about the interest of corporations, isn't it? And um, uh, whether whether one corporation is kind of running the world, you know, I don't know about that, but I do believe that there are decisions that corporations yeah, money, make. Money rules the world. We we know all. Yeah. We all know that. We are taking part in that. Mm. Uh, we or are, or we does it? I mean, really. I don't know. I mean, it vacillates, doesn't it? I mean, money rules rules the world on one level, but then change happens when 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 people's voices are heard. And so you know, it's, I, I think it's, maybe it's a battle of it kind of back and forth. To be greedy. Uh, I want to ask you also, from the actual point of view, what was the uh, most challenging in uh, in uh, this series for you guys as an actors? The language, language. I have to speak two languages in Deep State, which I've never spoken before, which are French and Tamashek. Mm. So that was pretty challenging to sort of understand the language, get it on my tongue, and speak it out as if I But say this. But how does it stuff. work that uh, you're? Doing it phonetically, like somebody told you a sentence and you repeat it, or you learn the language to actually understand it. So the fascinating thing about Tamashek, it's it's like a uh, it Mandarin, is it Mandarin, the symbols. What's it called? I I, I, did, I don't speak Tamashek. I didn't learn so how to learn Tamashek. So it's it's a uh, so they write in symbols and right. yeah yeah something like that. So that was really difficult to go through an alphabet was like insane. So my teacher would say the word and then I would say it back. And then I'll try to understand what it is he was saying so I could put the right emotion into the word. But did he uh, listen to what you recorded on the camera saying, like, we have to repeat it because yes. it doesn't sound? <laughs> yes. Damn. So he was on the other side, and then I would say the line, and I will be so proud, like, I know I did it. And he would be like, oh, Lily, sorry, you, we had to so, do that again. So you wouldn't <laughs> piss him off, because even then, if he's <laughs> very fast, he was like, again, yes, again. again. <laughs> very difficult, man. It's very, very difficult. To, and we watched her do it and watched another kind of cast member do that as well. I mean, Tomashek is not something you hear that often. You know, it's very hard to speak. And, and to for you? Uh, for, for me? Um, uh, wow. I mean, you know, uh, there, there were a number of different things, but I, I suppose just uh, um, carrying the, 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 the burden of uh, Nathan Miller's troubles um, really kind of got, got me down. Uh, after a while. So how long and, it took um, you to shake this character off? You know, and maybe I'm still shaking it <laughs> off. You know, it really wasn't that long ago that we finished, you know, in the grand scheme of things. And, um, you know, he, he's a person that, um, that, that at some point over, the, over his journey in this show uh, understands um, how morally compromised he's become. And oh. that's, that's heavy if you care about it. 